this is going to be a tutorial on how to reset your IPMI Submicro password. Well, you can, for that matter, you can actually do anything really using this utility called IPMI CFG. So you can do lots of things like change IP address, all that kind of stuff. Um, Please see my other video on how to make a USB DOS drive and then how to load it. So basically I'll go through the install and how to run, how to, sorry, and how to make the drive. I'll go through running the program later in the segment. So currently the admin, default admin and admin wasn't working for me and I couldn't get into it um, as I forgot my password. So the only way you can do it is reset this by doing either dash fd or adding a, another username. So that fd will reset to factory default and then your admin admin will work or alternatively you can actually add a user. So first things first, you want to grab your the this program the IPMI CFG. So you want to go to this um, Supermicro website and click download free software. Fill in all your details. This you needs to be a non-public email address, so Gmail and Hotmail won't work. And then you'll get come to this and you'll click accept EULA. That will change and you'll click download. And that's the IPMI CFG. Once that's done, I've already got it. So. Then you make your drive with that DOS folder in it because you don't need the Windows or Linux. You can do this with Windows or Linux. And once you've done that, you can execute the program. I'll go through that shortly. Here's um, a website that goes through how to do it on Windows. We're going to do something similar where we're going to execute it via CD by changing directory. Um, another good website is this one here. So you will get to the command line like this and then you'll type in DIR and it'll give you the directory and it'll come up with something like DOS or IPMI CFG. Then you'll just go CD and change into that folder and then CD again, change into the DOS folder. Then once you're in the DOS folder, that, that's the directory as you can see. And all you have to do is type in IPMI CFG space and then the commands that you want to do so as you can see here dash m that will give you your ip and mac address or dash fd that will reset everything or if you want to add a user all you have to do is type in the the standard ipmi cfg space dash user add to so give it the id like the, which one it will be you know, one, two, three, four, etc. Um, then you're going to have the username. The password is password in this case, but you just type the actual password that you like, and then you put in the privileges. So the privileges you can see up here, four being the highest, and that will give you a user if you don't want to do a factory reset. And then once you do that, you can actually log back in and. And that's it. The, de the program that you've just downloaded, uh, this user guide is actually in there. And all you have to do is just search for um, IPMI CFG into Supermicro and you'll find this page here. I'll put it in the link as well. And I'll just go through after this how to, get, how to actually execute. So on startup, you want to enter into the BIOS. So for the may it's just press delete here. This will bring us into the BIOS. You want to go to your boot page and you want to select the DOS USB. For me, this is the USB hard disk, sand disk. 
that's the one we just made with the files that we need to use on it and then go save reset and the computer will restart again Alright, so we're in the DOS now. So let's type in DIR for directory and this will tell us what files are there. Alright, so we've got the IPMICFG file folder which we dragged in with all the files in it. So we'll go CD for change directory and we'll go IPMICFG. We'll actually go into the subfolder. So IP MI CFG forward slash DOS. No, that didn't work. We'll just go. That changes into there, and then we'll go into this DOS. So it's CD DOS again. Now we're in the DOS file. So we can execute commands in here such as you always want to type IPMICFG first and then you type the command. So we'll go dash M and this will give us the current IP address of the IPMI. Alright, if you want to do a factory reset you just type in fd dash fd so i p m i c f g dash fd and that will factory reset everything i'm not going to do that i'm going to use um i want to change my username and password and keep everything else as is so to do that I'm just going to create user space add space 2 so this is going to be the second one and we'll add, give it a username username Trent password is going to be password and we'll give it administration level privileges so by clicking for one for callback level two is for user level three is for operator level and four is for administrator level so four is the highest and click enter that's done um, and we can check that by going IPMI CFG space dash user list there we go 